Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Welcome to the So Essential vlog. I'm here today to share with you the new pattern releases for January 2019. So all of the patterns I talk about and the fabrics I talk about today are available on our site. The link to our site is below. And in these videos, I like to bring you a roundup of my top picks from the big pattern company new releases, so McCall's and Simplicity and all the companies that come under those. Um, we usually add quite a substantial new range from one of those companies pretty much every month to the website. So I like to try and just keep you abreast of those. And then also I'll tell you about any new designs that our current indie pattern designers have brought out that we've added to the site. And then we've also added a large range of new indie pattern designers recently as well. So instead of trying to tell you about all of them in one go, I thought I'd pick out a company and give you a bit of a sort of overview of their style and pick one of my favourite patterns from their range as well and talk to you about that. So there's going to be plenty of food for thought, hopefully lots and lots of inspiration and I should just mention that the McCall's and the Simplicity patterns are very very easy to find the new season releases and all the companies that come under that umbrella because you just need to search by sewing patterns and then by brand and click on the new season section and you'll find all of the new releases get uploaded to our website the minute they're available in the UK. We're really hot on that. So if you're somebody who likes to be at the cutting edge and is always desperate to get your hands on those new designs, it's really easy for you to do that. With the indie pattern designers, it's very easy to stay abreast because they they have fewer designs obviously um, so you'll notice those but the purpose of these videos is just to bring all of that to your attention and give you some inspiration and ideas. So the first release I'm going to talk to you about today is the new McCall's Patterns release and I've picked out my four favourite patterns from this release. The things I really, really like about all of the patterns I've chosen is they've all got interesting details, interesting twists, way to, ways to build your sewing skills, different techniques to try. Um, so the first one I've chosen is 7874 which is a sweatshirt pattern and okay there are millions of different sweatshirt patterns out there there's lots of raglan styles and um, crew necks and hoodies and that sort of thing out there but I just thought this was a nice interesting twist and it is a funnel neck sweatshirt pattern it's also got an option for a turtleneck and then there is a crew neck as well but the other design detail that I really like, I like the funnel necks, I thought oh, that would be nice and warm in the winter, Put, putting that on to go to the gym or to go running or whatever, it would keep, keep me nice and warm. Um, but the other detail it's got is it's got princess seams and then running between the side seams and the princess seams are front side pockets so they sort of bridge the gap between the princess seam and the side seam and I just thought that was quite a flattering design and um, just a really nice design feature. There's also options for different cuffs and hems um, and as I say I just think I would get tons and tons of wear out of this at this time of year um, particularly at the weekends and when I'm going to and from the gym or running or whatever um, I thought it was a really nice interesting different design. The next pattern I've chosen is McCall 7872. So this is a jumpsuit pattern. Again, we've got four options here. So there's a jumpsuit with a low V and kimono sleeves and then just tapered trousers. It's an elasticated waist, so nice and easy to fit and quite a simple sew. There's also a, um, a long sleeved uh, jumpsuit with full length trousers and a collar on it for more of a um, formal look. I think that could actually look quite nice for work and things. If, and on the pack pattern packet they've made it in contrasting fabric so it almost looks like trousers and a top which I thought was a nice idea. Then there's a full length trousers sleeveless version with a collar um, and I thought that would be a great make for um, holiday time or for weekends um, in the summer and then there's also a kimono sleeve low V version that's a play suit or a romper and I thought that would be absolutely lovely for holiday time and for summer as well. I think the um, low V version is just very, it's a very simple neckline. I assume the bodice is lined, it looks like it's lined. 
um, and it's just very very simple but then with those dramatic kimono sleeves I just think it's a really nice balance and I thought if you were going to make that version um, you could make it for evening wear at this time of year and I think it would be a lovely thing to pop on when you were going out um, for a meal or you know just going out for a drink or whatever in the evenings because jumpsuits are great you haven't got to think about what top goes with what skirt or trousers or all the rest of it it'd be an easy go-to item it would be comfortable but it does look really sophisticated and quite smart as well and I thought that would be nice made up in our prestige crepe which is John Caldor crepe absolutely beautiful quality as you would expect and available in a range of colours. I've chosen this um, purple colour, I think there's two different shades of purple that we've got in it. We've got teal, we've got red wine, we've got navy, so some really nice rich colours there that I think would make a lovely evening wear version of that jumpsuit. The next pattern I chose was McCall 7863 and I think this is lovely, I think there's some lovely design details on here. So it's a shirt dress and again, yep, there's loads of shirt dress patterns out there. But the placket on this one comes across the body and then runs asymmetrically down one side. And then also the skirt's got ruching round um, the placket as well, which I think is a really nice little twist and little detail. Um, it's got waist um, bust starts and then it's got side bust starts as well. So I think that would really help you to get a really good fit on the body. So you've got lots of, of room to manipulate there um, and I'm sure yeah you could just get a really good fit with that a nice flattering fit. Um, there's a long sleeved version if you were looking to make something for winter time and then there's short sleeve versions and a sleeveless version. Now the sleeveless version is the one I fell in love with and I just thought if I made that up in a nice soft lightweight denim I think that would be my absolute go-to barbecue, family get-together, summer get-together um, dress. And the one I would want to make it in is this denim which is, oh it is a lightweight denim, it's not lightweight when you've got to lift a whole bolt of it but you know. Um, and it is, I think it's DS rs0001 on our website and it's nice and lightweight it's lovely and soft it's a nice color um, the thing I really love about this denim as well is that the wrong side of the fabric is super super soft so that would feel lovely against your skin um, and I just think yeah that would be a really lovely classic dress that I'd feel incredibly comfortable in if I were to make it up in the denim so that was my third McCall's pattern that I chose and then finally the last McCall's pattern I chose was 7871 it's a Nancy Zeman design and again just some really lovely interesting little details on this so I would say this is like a trapeze or swing dress um, but it's got at the side it's got side front and side back panels which come up like a diamond shape like that um, and then within that it's got welt pockets so I just think a really nice opportunity I know a lot of people haven't tackled a welt pocket it's a nice opportunity to learn that skill um, but also just a really lovely design feature that just brings an interesting twist to an otherwise very easy to wear um, casual dress and I think this would look lovely made up in our John Caldor Cadiz fabric which is a cotton jersey um, I've chosen the navy but we've got a whole range of different colours in that one obviously you'd want to choose a plain fabric I think for this particular pattern because of the panelling and, and what have you. Um, the styling on the packet they've got it on over leggings or jeggings so if you're somebody that likes wearing tunics and dresses over leggings that's um, a great option it looks really good um, but also I think you could wear the dress in the summer with sandals and it would look great as well and it would just be one of those dresses that you can just chuck on not have to think much about and go which is always a welcome addition to my wardrobe I know that for a fact. Um, 
The other patterns I wanted to talk to you about were Cashmere released a new pattern fairly recently. It's the Pembroke Dress and Tunic. So if you haven't heard of Cashmere patterns, they are designed for people with fuller busts. So they go from a C to an H cup. So that's brilliant news for anybody who's, who has to grapple with full bust adjustments. The cup sizes are actually built into these patterns so that can make your life a lot easier. And this is a really versatile pattern. It's, the dress is short sleeved. It's got a tie round the waist. Um, it's sort of a, a just below the knee sort of length with little slits at the side. Um, and just a really nice, um, again, chuck it on, wear it anywhere dress. I think you can dress it up with heels and a nice bit of statement jewelry, um, but you could probably just wear it with your flip flops as well and just feel really comfortable in it. And then the tunic has got a turtleneck um, and that would be perfect, I think, for this time of year. You know, I think it would be a really wearable item to have in your wardrobe. If I was going to make that at this time of year, I thought that a nice fabric to make that up in would be our Isabella wool jersey which is a John Caldor again, beautifully, beautifully soft, beautifully warm, comes in a range of colours and I think if you made, well I made a turtleneck in this about three years ago which I still wear all the time um, and then I've just made another one in it because I love it so much and I wanted a looser fitting one um, rather than, you know, an, an, a, just the skin tight one that I've got. Um, but it just goes to show, I mean, that has been washed and worn for three years and it still looks as good as the day I made it. So really can't recommend this fabric enough. And then the other new indie pattern release that I wanted to mention was the Emerson Trousers by True Bias. So you can make shorts or trousers with this pattern. The trousers are like a lot. So I think they finish like a couple of inches above the ankle. And I just like some of the design features on these trousers. So they've got an elasticated waist at the back, which I guess makes for easier fitting. But then they've got a waistband at the front. So that's nice and flattering and will help flatten um, in that area, which I know I'm I'm always um, well I always welcome um, there's a couple of darts there as well and some pockets um, and I just think they're a really nice they'd be a nice comfortable trouser to wear because of the elasticated waist at the back but they still look quite smart um, and the fabric I thought they would be great made up in um, was our John Caldor Logano fabric which is a crepe and it comes in a range of colours again. Um, I particularly like this sort of dark rusty colour. I think that would look lovely. Um, those trousers would look lovely made up in that. And then you could pair them with your boots or whatever you wanted to wear. I think a lot of people wear ankle boots, don't they? Or with their collots. And I think that would look great. Um, and then finally, as I mentioned at the start of the video, our new indie pattern companies that we've added, there's a big list of them, including Thread Theory Designs, Made by Ray Patterns, Fancy Tiger Crafts Patterns. Um, the range I picked out today to highlight was Victory Patterns. So there's probably about 10 to 15 patterns, I would say, in their range. Um, lots of them have got really sort of quirky, um, it's quite a quirky, unique style to these patterns, quirky details, things like um, pin tucks and sweetheart necklines, um, full swell pockets, that sort of thing, you know, lots of thought about the details. Um, and there was also the sort of half of the patterns that seem to be quite sort of fitted and have these quirky details and almost be a bit retro some of them and then the other half of the the range is more sort of flowing um garments things like blouses and there's like a waterfall coat um so i think there's a real a really interesting mix in this brand there's probably something for everybody the dress that i chose as my favorite was the chloe dress which is a uh, very much a mod um sort of looking dress so there's a sleeveless version and there's a version with cat sleeves leaves um, looks a little bit short for me on the picture I think I would have to lengthen it slightly I don't think I'd wear a dress quite that short um, but it's got princess seams it's got little fake welt pockets on it um, just quite a nice classic design really and I think I'd love to have a go at making that one so that would be my pick out of their range but get on and have a look at those 
and that's it from me today i hope you've enjoyed that i hope you've got some inspiration and ideas about all the lovely new patterns that are on the site if you do like what you see please like and subscribe as i said everything i've mentioned today is available on our site and the link to our site is below and i'll look forward to seeing you next time <laughs>